Oh yeah. Time to make some babies. We want to get another one of these red ones. And I just realized that it's not like going to drop an egg. We still got two minutes until it pops out. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Arc Aberration episode. We got all sorts of things going on. Changed up the breeding pen a little bit. Uh, I completely forgot that these things would have been like Thylas and it, we can make them have the sexy time on the zip line. Like you can have Thylas make the sexy time while on the walls. Uh, so we're trying to get another red one here because we're going to go out. And we're going to tame some glow tail today. So we've already got the glow horns or the shine horns, the uh, lantern pugs. We need the glow tail. And then eventually we're going to go ahead and get the feather light as well. But yeah, I hope you guys are all excited for the episode. Probably do a little bit of glow tail breeding today as well. And uh, hopefully maybe going to hunt down some, some loot drops so we can get... Like I've got these uh, better picks and uh, crossbow... But I would like to actually get some blueprints of those. So we got to get some drops for that. So maybe explore around a little bit for that. But um, yeah, we're going to wait till this guy pops out. Hopefully it'll be red. And then we'll be back and ready to go. Awesome! We did it! It popped out red. And uh, so Aura got to, to, to claim hers. Now we just got to get it fully imprinted. And what? Why are my lights now turning? Oh, it must be nighttime now. But yeah, so this thing looks amazing. The stats on these, if you guys haven't seen the episode where I got them, are pretty damn good. Uh, 3120 health, uh, 303 melee damage, 135% movement speed. Pretty darn good. I also need to get a better Ravager saddle, so hopefully we can find one of those in a drop or something. But yeah, get this guy, girl, fully grown. Does that mean, is this one a male? It is a male. Nice. So we can actually breed these and make a whole army of them, which will be amazing. Oh my god. Damn near left the base without any glow dudes. <laughs> uh, so we ended up uh, breeding up another one of the Ravagers down there so that we have a spare red one. Just in case anything bad happens. Because, you know, this is aberration. And bad shit gonna done happen. Gun, go, gun gonna happen. Done gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, do I want to breed one of my... Or do I want to bring one of my mutated shine deers? No, I don't think I do. A little too nervous for that. Let's see here. But I do want to bring one with high charge. Oh, we've got some babes. we got all sorts of stuff going on here. All right, we'll just keep claiming them. Until we have the biggest shine deer army anyone has ever seen or ever will see. Do I want to, do I want to bring you? Do I want to bring you? No, I do not want to bring you. All right, so there is a high level one in there. Actually, you know what? We'll just leave those in there. It's fine. So we've got, um, we got just all sorts of weird levels. All right, let's bring... Donkey? <laughs> we could bring Ragnar the Barbarian. Oh, we got 204 here. There we go. Let's bring these two. Come hither, child. Wait, I don't want all of you. What? Oh, the whistles are broken. There we go. No. No. There we go. Come here. So, yeah, um... We're going to need these guys because to get to the surface, we're going to have to go through a lot of uh, areas where there's going to be nameless. Goat, really? You were in the door. How could you betray me like this? All right, yeah, but uh, we're going to go through some territories where there's going to be obviously nameless. And there's are, there are nameless down here. They don't really, they don't spawn in here unless you kite them in here. Then you'll have to deal with them for a little bit. But um, once you actually get them all killed, then they'll stop spawning in here again. But yeah, so let's see here. Uh, We've got our, her little shine deer that's coming eventually, maybe. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's stuck on the rock. Come on, little shine deer. They're so derpy and so adorable. You can't help but even love them when they're being dirt. Get out of the rock. Oh, oh, oh. It's magic. Shrooms. <laughs> Juvenile. Oh, no. I thought it should have been on the feeding trough. How'd it die? That's so dumb. Anyways, what? They're on the feeding trough. This is so stupid. Okay, so uh, we've got our shine horns. Had a little bit of an encounter with some freaking ice mushrooms, which are just ridiculous. And you're supposed to eat the aquatic mushrooms to get rid of it. And I ate like two stacks and it just did nothing. So I guess it's probably a little glitched out. So I'm just going to try and make sure we don't run over any of those stupid things. And then there's also just invisible patches where like you just walk through nothing and then get it. It's pretty ridiculous. But we need to go um, all the way back to basically the e super, well, the super easy starting point. 
And then once we're back there, we can um, we can tame up the glow tails because that's where they are. Now, what is this? I never seen these before. Uh oh, I lost Aura. Where'd she go? Oh no, this is not good. But anyways, we need to go back. Maybe she. I think she knows the way out. I don't know where I'm going. There we go. Yep. Oh oh, Megalosaurus. No, just run. What are you? Why didn't you run? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. All right, so we know that there is an easy way out of here, but um, we don't know if we can find it. So I'm just going to see if I can shoot a zip line out and uh, get out that way. Because if we can just get up to there, we should be able to get out right there. All right, I think, I think that'll work. I've got a bunch of zip lines on me, so hopefully... Ladies first. That should do it. I'm hoping that we can jump off the ledge in the right spot. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. Professional. So we're trying to go to the corner of the map, which is um we're trying to go to like twenty or forty eight twenty eight or something like that. That's where we're headed to. So this worked. Now we just probably need another zip line to get fully out. Um Yeah, no, we can go this way to get out. Perfect. Perfect. But anyways, yeah, we're going to the easy starting zone. So now that we're out of the, the glowy forest, life is going to be a lot easier. And um, we don't have to worry about things anymore. Whoa! Just just flying. That thing is fast. Holy Jesus. I need to get one of those. That's the fastest thing I've ever seen in Ark. Holy Jesus, that thing is fast. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was funny all right so yeah uh we're, we're gonna go this way we're gonna follow the river out and up to where we need to go yes a drop exactly and it's a green drop so it's not a i mean it's not the best of the drops but it's a drop it's better than no drop what a freaking dinosaur gate blueprint oh screw you game screw you oh we have finally oh what level is that lantern pug Level six, garbage pug. What level are you? Level 120. That's a little bit better, but I got a max level one back at the base. So yeah, um, we're slowly getting to where we need to be. This is the, the big starting area. So I'm actually surprised I knew how to get back here. I was kind of just guessing and I was like, she's going to be mad at me when I tell her we're lost. What? What? Where'd, where'd, where'd she go? What? What? Oh, they're okay. Jeez, just trying to. All right, can I jump to that rock? Nope. Oh God, tragedy. Thankfully, these things can jump from a high height and uh, and not take any damage really. So, um, oh, I thought she was gonna die. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So it took took a little while to get here, but it's not too bad. And uh, we need to go onto the other side of this. So, what oh, we got? We got a patron. Who's this? Boo! It's my new favorite thing. Sneak up to patrons and boo at them. Pooley? I don't think he's paying attention. Eh. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, yep. Okay, so yeah. We're looking for the cave that's right on the other side of this. So, let's see here. Um, There are crabs and terrible things in here. But I think they removed all the piranhas. So, we should be able to swim across without an issue. Yeah, yeah. I remember in one of the patch notes they said they removed all the piranhas. You can also get tons of silica pearls from here as well, since you don't have to worry about the piranhas. Now, that being said, there are crabs here and sarco. So keep that in mind. The crabs and sarco are not fun to deal with. What is up my butt? Frickin' sarcos! Told you. Frickin' sarcos, ladies and gentlemen. A pain in das booty. Oh, it's level 114, Sarko. If I find a high level one, I gotta we gotta tame it. But if it was max level, our little goats would be screaming at us, going, Meh! Max level dino! Meh! It's the exact noise that they make, just so you know. Anyways, yeah, here's the entrance to the cave where you can get all the glow tails. And uh, just gonna get set up here real quick, and we'll head in. 
Okay, so uh, what you want to do is when you go here, uh, there's actually not going to be anything at the entrance of the cave, but crabs do spawn on the outside. So you want to bring your mount at least to here. There's somebody left a little lantern pug here. Um, but you want to bring your mount at least to here, so at least it'll be protected. And then we can go ahead and sneaky sneak our way in. Now, I've been into this cave a few times now, and every time I've come in here, there has always been a, um, a Carno... Is there, is this, a, okay, this is a little nook and cranny. There's always been a Carno and three Scorpions uh, on the other side of the first door, which really isn't too bad to deal with. I've also made a video on how to solo clear this particular cave. Um, so there'll be a, ooh, there's a, a max level dino somewhere. Um, so if you're curious on how to do that solo, go ahead and check that video out. I'll put it in the cards. And, uh, but otherwise, getting the glow tails, you don't have to go very far into the cave. They're like literally right at the front. So if you just kill the first few things, there's a frickin' Cthulhu Wyvern in here. There is not supposed to be Cthulhu Wyverns in here. What the hell? There has never, ever been a Cthulhu Wyvern in here. And I've been through this like five times. Damn it! Stupid Cthulhu Wyvern. Shit, I have a, I have a sword. Stupid Cthulhu Wyvern. I don't even know what they do. It doesn't seem to be doing much damage. I think it's maybe because we've got our, our Glowhorn things. But you can't bolo it. What the hell? Die! I can't hit it. I'm useless right now. All right, this is ridiculous. This is not supposed to be in here. All right, we got to kill it. Die already. You little prick. This is the worst. Now oh, that that stupid thing's been taken care of, that was not supposed to be in here. Nothing even supposed to spawn right here. They're supposed to stuff supposed to spawn in here. Somebody I think somebody's in here right now cuz there's no scorpions. Uh there's the explorer note. Okay. Oh, no, there's the Carno. All right, Carno's right behind us. All right, so I was gonna, as I was saying, yeah, there's always like a Carno and Scorpions. Here, come back through the door. All right, so... Uh, oh, shit, I shot her in the head. Let's see here. So I'm just going to aggro this Carno, and we're going to kite it back through here. And it won't be able to... Oh, it made it through! <laughs> Today is just going awry. Every other time it's never made it through. So I'm just I'm just a liar. Don't even listen to me anymore. Alright, so we're gonna bolo this dude here. Or not. Or not. I'm just I'm just gonna shut up. I'm not gonna say what we're gonna do anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that we do it right. And um, I'm just not gonna talk. That's that's the key. That's the trick today. Just don't talk. I don't know wh why everything's going awry. Anyways, um, you should usually can find glow tails just like all through here. Um, there's none down there. Um, all right, I don't see any yet. Let's see if there's some just up here. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so there's another way over here. And we can usually find glow tails. But if somebody's already in here, then the chance of us finding glow tails is slim. Oh, the explorer note didn't show. I got the boost, but it didn't show. This is the Mayan note, number six. I read it in my glow tail episode. All right, so there, there's usually a bunch of glow tail right in here. But there's also a freaking evil snake from hell. And a couple other... Cthulhu Wyvern! No! They must have added the Cthulhu Wyvern to this frickin' thing, because it was not ever here before. I don't think you can hit it in the face. It's got, like, a defensive barrier, so you got to hit it in the booty. Can I not bolo these? I really want to try now. I am determined. All right, you can't bolo them. This is just stupid. Well, when you got crabs, this is what you got to do, ladies and gentlemen. You just got to shoot the crabs from the sky so that they can't eat your booty like groceries. And um, we can also tame aberrant otters down here. So I wasn't planning on going down there. But since there are otters here, I figured, you know what? Maybe it would be a good idea to try and tame one. You know, it can't hurt nobody, right? 
And otters are pretty much the most amazing thing ever. Although, now we'd have to carry an otter and a glow tail back, which might be a pain in the ass. We might have to come back for otters, because we came here for glow tails, not otters. I mean, we could tame one. I don't know. We'll see. I've already... Yeah. We want the glow tail. We can get otters anytime. Okay. We have found the first glow tail. It was hidden in the little brush right here, just hiding. It's level 24. And um, we got to tame it. There should be, there's usually like two or three in here. Now, let's see here. Do we have its mushroom? I believe it's the acerbic mushroom. So we can just kind of just go up to it and bam! We got ourselves a glow tail. Can I pick you up? Why won't you? Are you like super duper stuck? Super duper glow tail stuck? Yeah, you are. Can you walk out of there? Yes. Okay, perfect. I forgot I can't pick it up because I got the goat. So uh, we'll leave that one there. That one actually looks really, really cool. Look at it. Look at it with your eyes. I like the blue on it. That's like my favorite color blue on the ARC color palette. So that is really nice. Now, we should be able to find another one. I'm thinking maybe if, since that one was hiding, maybe the rest are hiding somewhere. I'm not sure. But um, we're going to take a look. So ladies and gentlemen, I told you there were otters here. And lo and behold... We've found an aberrant otter. Level 18. So we need to kill a fish and drag it to it. So that's what uh, Aura's doing right now. So I'm hoping it shouldn't it shouldn't take too many fish. Although I do have a feeling that it might be hard to feed it to it. Actually, I don't want to go into the water yet. There's still like tons of piranha here. Can I release your body? Release the body. There we go. All right, you know, it might not be so bad. It might not be as bad as I thought. All right, let's just try it. Let's give it a shot. Worst comes to worst, I die. Oh, can you... You can't drag a fish in the water, can you? Or I, No, it's because I fell off. That's right. All right, so... Getting this done is such a pain in the butt. Damn it. There we go. Come here, little otter. Getting the feed thing to pop up is such a pain. Oh, I had it. Uh, yeah, we did it. Otter McOtter face. McOtter face. Bam. All right, so that's amazing. We got an aberrant otter. Now its little back should light up. So let me just uh, let me toss a little goat here and uh, check out our little friend. It's not, I mean... It doesn't really seem to light up. But it's cute. It's certainly cute. So let's see. So we got the glow tail. I can't really... It's like the lighting is all wonky in the game right now. Is there another otter in here maybe? So an aberrant coal. Aberrant coal. I don't see any other otters. Yes, I think that was the only one. Which is kind of unfortunate, I guess. Shinehorn, what are you doing? It's the magical bouncing shinehorn of aberration. So I found one more frickin' glow tail, and we can't get it. It's not in a position to be able to get. It is, uh, it was like hidden in this little frickin' waterfall, being all sneaky. Oh, I almost fell. Uh, being all sneaky, but I really don't think there's a way to get it, because, um, I don't know. It's a, it's a pain. But, um, yeah, so unfortunately, we got one otter, and we've got one glow tail. So I'm kind of just walking around in the dark. Hoping to see maybe the little tail light thing going. Now, you can get them deeper in the cave. I just don't, uh, I'm not in the mood to be clearing no cave right now. So, we're going to get the otter and the glow tail home. And I'll probably come back later and um, once they respawn and see if we can get another one at the entrance of the cave. Oh, my God. Well, I should gamma, maybe do a gamma like three. There we go. That's that's a little bit better. Uh, so the pathway down is here, and thankfully one of our admins on the Patreon server put this handy dandy sign here. So <laughs> that is a very good. Now we just gotta. I've never gone down this way. I just jumped off the cliff last time. Let's see. What was that? Oh, it's just like a little snail thing. Um, but yeah, we just need to get back to base, which I think shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, a little shine deer. You can get shine deer up here too. Level twenty four. Okay. That's cool. I've never seen them this far up before. I've only found them deep into this little zone. What was that? Somebody's pug. <laughs> I like that somebody lit this up with uh, with uh, lights and stuff. 
got a nice little path that goes through so anyways yeah we just need to to get back to base which is pretty much just going straight through all of this hell i don't think this is the right way though well i mean it is the right way to get down but i think we're on the other side of where we need to be yeah anyways i love this zone it's just so freaking beautiful it's deadly but i love it you know it's just one of those things is that a car now it oh no it's a megalosaurus uh-uh not today girlfriend I ain't dealing with that shit. <laughs> YOLO. All right, anyways, yeah, let's get back to base. And uh, then I'll probably go back in a little bit. And is that... Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm lost. I've just been abandoned. I, I, don't, I can't be through here without any light. Damn nameless. Trying to come kill me. So, um... Oh, poor Shine Goat. We tamed up another Shine Goat. Found a level 174 and uh, trying to get it back to base. You brave little goat, you. Just going to try to attack an Arthropleura. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was recording taming it. And lo and behold, I didn't hit the freaking record button. I was pretty upset about it because I started talking about... Uh, um, Ov or not Ovis, but Shinehorn Booty because it's amazing and everyone should embrace our Lord and Savior Shinehorn Butt. <laughs> uh, I know I'm a little ridiculous, everybody, but it's, you just gotta, you gotta be ridiculous every once in a while. You know, you just gotta embrace, embrace life, try and be happy, cheer other people up, and just have a good time. You can't always be so serious all the time. You're just not gonna enjoy life that way. So, anyways, come here, you stupid little goat. No, you amazing, glorious, cute budded goat. We need to get you back to base. Okay, so we're back at base, and I realized, like, I've been working on rebuilding the entire base with, um, with Aura, and <laughs> while I'm doing this, I'm like, you know, I should probably record some of this, because I'm gonna come back, and the whole base is gonna be different, and people are gonna be like, what the hell is going on? So, yeah, um, I re completely rebuilt this one, and I added some stuff just to make it look better. So let's see here, I redid all my zip lines as well. Um... Okay, El Diablo, you can follow me, I guess. Uh, so I just want to show you what we've done. So I've replaced uh, the, all of those to make it look neater from down below. And then I've placed walls and ceilings along all that uh, to make it look better so it just doesn't look like hammered ass from the bottom. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'll probably do the same with those up there. I'm not 100% sure. I might just leave it like that. No, I'm not going to leave it like that because it does look like poo. So I'm going to fix those a little bit. And we're getting a nice little, uh, I don't know, home getting going on here. So let's see here. I'm probably going to go ahead and go out by myself and get a glow tail here soon and let Aura do her thing and maybe come back and be surprised at what has been created. But yeah, our house is pretty awesome. This whole area is pretty cool. And I like, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this whole building up top kind of thing. It's just, uh, it's very pleasing at the moment. I don't know. I'll probably be sick of it eventually. But uh, as far as everything is going now, I quite enjoy it. And um, let's see here. We need to build another um, bat-eared ravager breeding pen because um, that way all the other people... I need to build multiple breeding pens. So that way I can have mine and uh, all these can have theirs. And uh, we'll be all sorts of happy. But anyways, yeah. Let's check our shine goats. Maybe we got some shine goat mutations going on still. I don't think so. We got the otter in there. We need another aberrant otter. And we got some goats. Goats and hoes. All right. No mutations. I think I'm done claiming goats unless they're super high level. Uh, for now, like 159. Anything over 200, I'll probably claim. Uh, unless it's a mutation, then of course I'll probably claim it. But for now, I think I've got enough goats. I mean, we do want a goat army eventually, but we need a high level goat army. Oh, baby. So we've got all this stuff going on here. We've got our fabricator that we made in the previous episode uh, to make our cliff platform stuff or the uh, the elevator stuff, which I don't think I'm going to waste the resources on that right now because there's other things that we need, uh, like a refrigerator. Uh, so I need uh, 10 electronics and 15 polymer. Let's see here. So we've got... Let's go ahead and make the electronics. Um, oh, it helps if I turn it on. So I need to make 10 of these. Seven, eight, and actually we should probably make more of it anyways, but we'll just make that for now. Actually, yeah, we'll just go ahead and make 
We'll make a bunch. I don't have a ton of silica pearls. I farmed up a ton of them the other day because we're going to need a generator and stuff as well. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And then we need some polymer. Um, let's see your craft amount. I forgot. I keep forgetting that we can do that now. So let's just make uh, 50 of these. Okay. And then I think that should be it. Let's see. We're also going to need straight cables. So I'm going to craft S plus straight cable. Just make a couple of those. I do want to make an industrial grill. We don't have the oil for it. I just made, I just used all of my oil freaking make it gasoline. So I do need to craft one of those, but I need to go farm up trilobites again. Oh my God. And then um, let's see. So we're going to need a generator, which we can make one of those now. Let's see. We want the S plus generator, please. There we go. Then we need an outlet. What am I missing? A wood. We're missing wood. There we go. Make sure we can do the S plus one. And then what else do we need? I wanted to make... Oh, yes. The hazard stuff. I, I'm high enough level to make all the hazard stuff. So we need blue gems and red gems. I think we've got enough to craft up some of this. Okay. I'm missing the polymer. Uh, we need fiber. So we need congealed glass or gas balls for all this stuff. Oh, so we're going to need to make one of those. Um a gas collector, which is actually made at the smithy. So let's see here. Because we've got a gas node right below us. Do I have all the stuff for this? I know red gem 20, metal ingots 75, crystal 40. We have all of that. I've got red gems down below. I know I've got red gems down below. So we definitely need the gas collectors. I think there's two nodes here. Uh, yeah, there are two nodes here, um, which is going to be really good. And then we can actually start making all the, the hazard stuff. I also need to make a wingsuit. So let's see. Oh, there's 28 red gems. And then we've got... I could have swore there's more somewhere. Or did we make... Did we use them? No, there's definitely more here somewhere. Because I, I grabbed a whole bunch from the stupid little roller rat thingy-maboobers. Which we need to tame one of those here as well. So I got to make a video on doing that. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Let me... Let me jump. Uh, maybe I put it in the other... I, I've got stuff everywhere. I really need... <laughs> she's got the wingsuit. Just loves that thing. Although now she can't get back up, so I'm going to have to drop her down a, a thingy in my boober. All right, did I put the red gems in here? I just want to make one gas collector. Just one red. We got congealed gas. No red gems. Son of a biscuit. And we needed 30 for that, I think, if memory serves. So let's just go ahead and put all the red gems in the smithy gas collector so we needed no we only needed 20 okay so we definitely have all the things for this why can't i pull it all right so i just need crystal cementing paste and there's just there's so the s plus stuff is still being a little wonky there we go just grab that and then some metal there we go don't need too much, but I do want to make two of them. I did not grab enough stuff for two of them, but one will do for now. Gas collector. Bam! Wham, bam, thank you, man. We don't have enough red gems for two, but one is going to be perfectly good for now. So we'll drop that bad boy in there. I wish it's a gas collector. Why can't we use that gas to make things, right? Like, why Why not? Air con now we need a uh, refrigerator. Make sure we grab the S plus one. There we go. And what else did I want to make? Oh, the wingsuit. That's right. I guess that's crafted at the smithy. So definitely need my own handy-dandy wingsuit. Glider? Glider. There we go. So, fibre, metal ingots. We got all that stuff. And it finally pulled. Sweet. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, man. I need to paint this thing. I need to paint it bad. Now, with the glider, you actually just drop it onto your back and it becomes part of... Oh, now I have to repaint everything. Damn it. Okay, well, it's fine. So we've got our gas collector. Let's go ahead and put El Diablo on follow. Yeah, boy. Oh, right into the wall. I'm a professional. I do that literally every single time. Every single time. So anyways, yeah. Uh, let's figure out how to imagine we just kind of do this. Oh, that's that's a lot bigger than I anticipated So it collects up to 24 congealed glass balls interesting Very interesting. I'm really upset that we can't 
It's actually really slow too. Extract concealed gas balls from a gas vein over time. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just kind of leave that thing to its to its work. Let's gamma down. The game just looks so weird with the gamma up. There we go. Looks so much better this way. So much better. Um, yeah, so let's see here. I'm going to get the rest of the things crafted up that I need, and then uh, we'll be back. And I want to make our little, um, basically, cooking area. All right, so I'm struggling to remember exactly what we <laughs> needed to make. Oh, okay, we still need an air conditioner. Um, did I not? I, I know I learned it. Conditioner. Oh, no, uh, air conditioner. I did not learn it. I have just enough points to do that. All right, so, but we did learn, we did make the, this. Okay, so this is the more important. Getting the, uh, getting all this stuff crafted up is more important at the moment. Don't have a whole lot of gas, but I think we'll be fine. So, let's see exactly how we want to set this up. So, I wanted the, the grill, I guess the grill going right here wouldn't be bad. Now, we also need to get some piping up here for water and all that stuff as well. I don't have enough for an industrial cooker yet. I don't think how much how much metal does that take how much metal do i have i have 13 or a thousand metal left and i don't i haven't even learned the industrial cooker yet i'm not high enough level for it never mind so we'll have to end up making space for that in the future but um so i think i'll put let's see here a fridge right next to this is probably a good idea just like that and then maybe i wish i could just hide our gener oh maybe we can just hide our generator up top like that but then getting to it is the issue, I suppose. So let's see here. Maybe I could put the generator in here. No, there's no good spot for that. I guess maybe I'll just hide it over here for now. It's so dark right here. Um, is that where the zip line is? No, okay. So the zip line's over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to hide it over here. And it should, should reach over to those so let's go ahead and get our some gas and see if it works all right yep we got power this should turn on as well perfect absolutely perfect and then i want to make this kind of like a lean-to as well so i gotta get some some walls and some ramps and kind of just make it a nice little cool area. And then we're going to have to get some piping up here, which is going to be a nightmare. That might not be so bad. I should probably start getting to work on the elevators as well. But also, we need to check on our babies, see if we got any stuff going on here. Do we got any any new baby goatses? We got one. What level are you? 179. No mutation, though. Well, that's unfortunate. What's What about you? 196. Uh, we're trying to only save 200s. But uh, 196 isn't bad, so we'll save you. Do you have a mutation? Is that a mutated back? <gasps> I think it might be. Can I claim you before you die, please? Please. Game. There we go. Uh, ancestry. Okay, no mutation. But one, uh, 196 isn't bad. Let me just... Whoa, 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 Ragnar! Where do you think you're going? You ain't going pillaging no villages, are you? It's probably what he was trying to do. Oh my god, we have no berries in here. Holy crap. So our little base area is definitely coming together. It's not the best kitchen I've ever made. I, I know it's, it's not amazing. I, <laughs> I lacked creativity on this one, but it is what it is. So, uh, but we did go out and get another handy dandy glow tail. And we've got it right here. And it's amazing. And we just need to get these guys getting their groove on. And we'll be good to go. So let's see here. Uh, behavior, enable wandering. And then uh, behavior enable or disable wandering. No, enable. There we go. Um, and we need some glow tail eggs. Hopefully I could pick them up from right there. It should be fine. Shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, we also need to start breeding up our bulb dogs. Get some super epic ones. But uh, I don't know. The gestation creatures are always such a pain to mute or just to breed in general. Oh, is that a new baby over there? It is. 158. Meh. Meh. Eh. Eh. Meh. Oh, we got a 170 over there. Yeah, no, I got to actually start uh, target breeding our shine horns to do a little bit better because um, I'm sick of the low levels. And also, we need more mutations. Well, there's really no way to do anything for that. But yeah, base is coming along quite good, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, Aura's making another breeding pen over there for her ravagers. And things are going quite well. 
So I really want to get some glow tail mutations. So we're going to let those guys hatch some or lay some eggs or one egg rather. And then um, I guess maybe I should babysit them because that egg could fall through the ground and that would be terrible. Are you guys getting your groove on? Why not? You're supposed to put your little lizard penis. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I don't know why I said that. I, how did I not? Oh, I know what. I accidentally put the... I'm a derp. A big old derp. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to shut up. Oh, we got our first egg. And it's too cold. So, yeah, we actually need to make a little hatchery area is what we need to do. Um, so, let's see here. I mean, I guess I could probably make one of these three pens a little hatching area. But, um, let's see. What else can I do? Uh, let me see what she's got going on up there. Because we do have the AC units. Although, I really don't want to make... Uh, more generators to split up my gas. Let's see here. Okay, so she's just making more area up here. I don't know if I want my hatching area up here. Let's see here. What I could probably do... I mean, well, it's a little dark over there. Hmm. Oh. Ah, well, the red gems. Meh. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! No, no, no! No, no! <laughs> uh, I guess, well, we could check our gas collector now anyways. It looks like... Oh, it actually fills up as it fills up with gas. Oh, man. Oh, we've got tons of gas. This is awesome. Nice. That thing collects it like a beast, like a champion. How much does that weigh? That doesn't weigh at all. Okay, so let's just go ahead and collect this. There we go. And we'll put it into our smithy up top. So that's pretty cool. I like that it fills up to kind of show you how much is in there. So you know if it's full without actually having to bother going into the inventory. So that is really cool. And I guess I got to figure out exactly where we're going to make a little hatching area up here. Um, hmm. I guess maybe I could use one of the other little pens. <sighs> the struggle is real, ladies and gentlemen. The struggle is real. So I just saw a 211 Shinehorn over here. Oh, wow. We got all sorts of Shinehorns. 93. Any, any mutations? No. Doesn't look like we got any. Yeah. Nope. 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 But this one is level two. Oh, God. It's almost dead. Do we have any food? Please tell me I got food. Shoot. Is it juvenile? It's juvenile. So it should be on the trough. Okay, good. Whoo. Ooh, baby. That nah, was close. All right, so we got a cuddle. Bam. Nailed it. 19%. Sweet. Any other babies? I don't think so. But um, instead of using AC units, just decided to turn this one into a little thing and just use the fireplaces. Uh, shouldn't be any more than, um, than three fires to hatch one of these eggs. So we're just going to go ahead and drop this here. And we're going to wait. So we got a, a minute and 25 seconds till that hatches. And we need to make sure we've got some berries on us uh, or mushrooms. Do I have any of that? I should have some mushrooms in here. Um, ba -da -ba -ba, acerbic mushrooms. Um, oh, we've got some berries. There we go. Let's just, I don't know how they got in here. We're not going to need that many until it gets on the trough. There we go. And... I think that's good. Oh, you know what? We should probably check on our Ravager mutations. Our Ravager breeding, rather. Hopefully we got some of them. I don't know. We need, um, we need like, two black zones or two white zones to make, like, an alpha-looking Ravager. Oh, my God. Whoops. Whoops. I'm a... Oh, come on. Give me a break. Uh, we got a rogue gloat. Oh, there it is. Level 147 glow tail. You got any mutations on you, little dude? Can I touch your butt? There we go. Zero out of 20. Oh, it's so adorable when they do that little flip. Yeah, so they occasionally they do this little flip, and it's not like a level up thing. It's just something they do when they're sitting around. And this thing is adorably tiny. Are you a male or are you a female? You're a female, so we can actually breed you up too. Nice. So, very good. It's going to take a while for it to get leveled up. These things really aren't great. The pugs and the shine deer are definitely a lot better, and the feather lights are even better than that. So, the glow tails are kind of sad. I don't know. They didn't get very much love, you know? Maybe their I think their range is higher or something. I'm not sure. They got to have some sort of benefit versus everything else. Um, but really, the charge is really what you want because, you know, you can have all the range in the world... But if you can't last long, <laughs> you're going to be useless. I'll be back. All right. We've almost got our next baby. 
What do we got? What do we got? 10 seconds. We got shine horns out the butt still. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the shine horns. They're amazing. Definitely need to go get a feather light soon. We also need to try and get a basilisk. I think we've got a, not a basilisk, a um, uh, rock drake thing. Ooh, what do we got here? A big old goofy headed lizard thing. Level 57. That's terrible. No mutations and it's a male. Well, that's woefully unfortunate. I was hoping to do some more breeding today, but it looks like we are out of luck in that department. So let's see here. Do we have any Do we have any more berries? I think I just dropped all the berries, didn't I? I did. We could put some meat on there, some prime meat. You want some prime meat, homie? Grab some more of the berries out of here. There we go. Our emergency ration berries. And uh, oh, 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 oh. where'd you go? There we go. Nice. So yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff done today. I'm pretty happy with everything that's been going on. So our base is coming along really nice. Our um, our glow tails are breeding. Our ravagers are doing pretty good. We got that awesome ravager mutation the other day. And um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I need to get a whole bunch more stuff to actually get our elevator system going. Because uh, I'm going to enjoy our base a lot more <laughs> once we have an elevator. I mean, the zip lines aren't that bad. The Ravagers definitely make it a little bit easier. All right, so that's not full yet. I do need to make another one for, or another gas collector over there. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. I'm having a lot of fun playing on the Patreon server. I'm hoping once everybody gets settled in that we'll be able to start doing some events. I've heard rumors and talk of me getting trolled by somebody soon, so hopefully... We can <laughs> uh, maybe not get trolled or troll them back. Uh -huh -huh. I'll do it. But yeah, uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe. And if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to share support and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.